Today we're going over 10 of some of the most fake sneakers out there in the game right now. I put this list of sneakers together based off of information that I've seen on previous websites and simply things that I see a lot of people posting about on social media as well. So hopefully this video can break down everything that you need to know and give you a full detailed list of what shoes to look out for and methods on how to authenticate your sneakers while you're at home thanks to our homies over at Poison. And if you didn't know, Poison has an authentication service that not only authenticates sneakers, but they can authenticate up to over 350 brands. So we're talking about luxury goods, purses, bags, jackets, you name it. They can do a lot when it comes to their authentications. And as you can see on the screen right here, when it comes to the sneaker side of things, if you click, it's a pretty simple process going through step by step, just how to authenticate the shoes and everything that they're asking for by submitting images on their website. And you can literally do this directly from your phone. Just by clicking on the link down below in the description, it'll easily access you to this page right here. And after you finish taking all the images that they asked for on the website, it doesn't take too long. And next thing you know, they'll send you a notification verifying if your sneakers have passed or have not passed. And don't worry, we'll be putting poison to the test later on in the video, so stick around for that. Starting with the first shoe right here, we have the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low OG Mocha. Now this shoe right here set the tone for a lot of sneaker heads over the past years. And because of that, as we know with a lot of trends, with a lot of shoes in the game, what happens? People want it, they can't afford it, the price keeps going up. Next thing you know, fake started rolling into the scene. And then you got a lot of people getting scammed, selling fakes as real and all this other stuff. Either way, at the end of the day, this is definitely one of the sneakers that I feel like had to be on the list for some sneakerheads that have, you know, kind of been in the game for around, you know, four, five, six, seven years. I'm sure a lot of people have seen or heard about this sneaker being faked so many times. So this is definitely a sneaker that you always want to keep an extra eye on when you go to plan on adding these to your collection. Next up on the list right here, we have the Yeezy Slide Pure. Now, this is a colorway that everybody loves to see. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen a lot of people wearing these everywhere you go, right? And because of that, same thing. What happens? There becomes a lot of fakes in the market. So when you look at these resale sites and all the different things, as they put the different numbers out based on the blogs and stuff, you see that this is actually one of the top five most fake shoes or slides right now in the shoe game. And I'm sure some people are asking, who cares? It's just a slide, right? Yeah, but at one point, these were like $400. I know they're probably cheaper now, but at the end of the day, you don't want to be spending that type of money and not getting the real product. So always be aware of that, even when it comes to slides. Next up right here, we have the Travis Scott Mocha Air Jordan 1 High. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this one. Probably one of the most fake sneakers for a long period of time besides another shoe because that was another alternative, which we'll get into that one in a second. This shoe right here, when it came out and then for a few years and honestly still to this day, make sure you guys always keep a close eye on a sneaker like this because you definitely don't wanna get hit with a pair of fakes. And I've actually made other comparison videos of this shoe in particular against a fake pair so you guys can see the differences, all the details and everything. But in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a full process on how to do it and authenticate it at home just in a couple minutes. As you guys know from the past, I've purchased sneakers from them and showing you guys that they were real and done all the different things. I love using Poison for those reasons. And now that they have this feature as well, you can authenticate shoes from your collection. But I wanted to put it to a test, not only trying it with some real shoes and some fake shoes, I wanted to see if my dad could figure it out. So let's kick it over to the studio for that. So you gotta authenticate these shoes to see if they're real or fake. Me? Yeah. I don't know nothing about shoes. Exactly. So how can I do that? Because I want to see if a person who knows nothing about this, how long it takes them to figure it out on the website. So I'm not going to help you. You got to authenticate the shoes. Check out the website. Me authenticate Ready? the shoes. So Set. this is the uh, right here. Yep. Follow the instructions. Oh my God. <laughs> He's the most technical. What, technically <laughs> challenged. Technically challenged. So it said try now. Shoes. Choose type of brand. Get one, get one, get results in one hour. Now, so let's see. Take a photo. So I gotta go like this. Okay, like this. Okay, use photo. In size tag. This is crazy. Yeah, I'll do it in this one. Use photo. Mid sole stitching. The stitching? So you gotta take the insole out? <laughs> this is crazy. I'm trying not to mess the shoe up. Now. That's gonna mess the shoe up, don't it? Okay. Take a photo. So I did the shoe box stamp. So 
so now it says plus if I want to add a couple extra photos. I think we should do that so people know we have two pairs of shoes. I mean two shoes. So don't it just says add more, but it would only let me add the one. So I'm gonna do this. It says pay to check it, 99 cents, or share for free. So while he's over there trying to figure it out, let's continue to go through a couple more shoes. As y'all remember, I was talking about the Travis Scott Mocha Air Jordan 1 High, and next thing you know, after the Mocha Air Jordan 1 came out, this became literally the most fake sneaker out of every shoe ever for a long period of time and might still be up there, but there's another shoe now that might pass, it might have surpassed it actually, but either way, this shoe, obviously, it's very similar to the Travis Scott, so what does that mean? If people can't get the high, you know, the expensive one, they're gonna try to go after this one. And then next thing you know, the prices start to go up on this, and then you see fakes come into the market, and da 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 you know, you know the process. So, this shoe in particular, like I said, keep an eye out, and again, I'll have a list of all the sneakers down below in the description here in the video. That way you guys can make sure that you can either ride them or refer to them. Uh, whatever you need to do, come back to this video later and say, hey, which shoes were some of the most faked? That way you always got an eye peeled out, because I want to make sure that you guys are not getting got. Next up, we have the Off-White Brooklyn Air Force One. Now this shoe right here, I've seen a lot of the Off-White white forces get faked and we've seen a lot of the off-white Jordan 1s da, da, da. you kind of get it but this one in particular over the past year I've seen heavy on TikTok and different platforms with a lot of people either getting a pair of fakes and not knowing it or getting fakes and trying to compare them da, da, da. every different thing so if you're looking to get a legit pair make sure you watch out on these there are differences I know a lot of people say oh they're the same they're definitely not the same I've seen a lot of differences between the two shoes let's, let's see how my dad's doing first real quick Retake photos. Shoebox stamp, box, midsole. Retake all those photos? It says retake shoebox stamp. I took a picture of this stamp. Box in label. So just this. Midsole stitching. Reverse side of the sock liner. So that's this. Email will be sent once it's completed. It's recommended that you complete the account. You have sent a verification code. Please check your email within 15 minutes. All right, he's still trying to figure it out over there, so <laughs> let's keep going with these shoes. Next up right here, we have the black Onyx Yeezy Slide. Similar to the tan pair, we have this one. Again, it makes sense why you would see this one faked often. Just because it's an all black side, it's comfy, Yeezy is popping, all the different trends, you name it, everybody wants to fit in. There's so many different reasons as to why shoes get faked. So we'll go through 10 shoes, and then I'll show you the top five most faked right now in current time uh, later in the end the video now another sneaker that we see is super trendy and heavily faked the chunky dunky nike sb dunk low this shoe right here again you gotta watch out for it and i've made a video in the past as well comparing the differences now next up on the list right here we have the travis scott fragment air jordan one low whoa i'm sure all you guys know about this one that's been in the game for a while this shoe heavily faked you gotta watch out and always make sure that you're taking multiple steps when it comes to authenticating your shoes whether that means going into a consignment shop and having them authenticate the shoes and compare them for you against a real pair just to make sure or having the experience from other sneakerheads that have been in game a long time that have shoes like me or even authenticating your shoes from home with poison like we spoke about always take that extra precaution when it comes to any of these shoes and the only reason why i put this one before the next one is because this next one they make a ton of fakes. And that is the Reverse Mocha Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low. This one came into the game a little bit more affordable and we literally saw everybody in their mama trying to rock this shoe. And I'm telling you the past couple summers, this has been the go-to shoe for so many people and all the different reasons why it's the great shoe and da da da, you name it. Everybody loves this shoe apparently. Again, you guys seen my rankings. I think they're kind of a little bit lower when it comes to the Travis Scott. Either way, heavily faked, keep an eye out. Make sure you guys take all the precautions when it comes to something like this because this shoe right here, a lot of people will be trying to get over with these ones. Now, before we take it to the last and final most fake shoe in the whole shoe game right now, we gotta see how my dad is doing and hopefully he's done so we can wrap up this video. It gave me the date when I did it. It, it says it's completed. It says Nike check number and it gave me the numbers of all what it was and then it says this pass. So it's authentic. 
It says it's authentic. So you feel like that was a pretty smooth process? For, for, for somebody like me, it's actually pretty good. Because I don't know nothing about the shoes to tell you whether or not if they're good or not. And to be able to get through it, yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. So you're overall happy with the product? For sure. Like, that's impressive to me. Like, honestly, like, you know how I am on the internet. Like, I suck. <laughs> I know, that's why I'm testing you on it. Like, I suck. And most of the time I spent was just trying to get back and forth to my email because I'm not good at that. Yeah. But the app itself, everything was fast. The email, the responses was fast. Mm -hmm. The uh, the the pictures, it did it all right. It the problems right. it had was I was taking the wrong pictures. Right. So it, it got me back to taking the right pictures by showing me where I need to go. So how long do you think it took you to complete that process? I think for me, probably 10 minutes in my mind. It took maybe like 10 minutes, but some of that was trying to find my email how long did it take me nine minutes and 34 seconds <laughs> that's pretty good so yeah for me it would take like literally a couple minutes right to get the whole thing done get the yeah, because you know what you're right. doing right for somebody who's never done it before right 10 minutes i didn't even know you could take the sock liner out like that right. so you, you know i'm thinking i'm messing that up so overall you would say this is a win use poison definitely so look use this because you wouldn't be buying some shoes out there if you know how to move with the internet. You wouldn't be buying those shoes out there that's fake on the street. Right. Like, you can literally do this. Right. No, this is dope. Like, this is, I'm impressed. I'm glad I'm signed up. I mean, I did it. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> this is for dummies. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I'm not good on the internet. I mean, you see, I got two phones, but it took me a minute to just find my email in the other phone right. because I forgot which phone I put the email in. I'm excited because now I could act like I know something about shoes. I can right. say, those fake, let me see. Right, right. And you can do it with somebody. Yep, yep, for sure. And not only that, hey, check this out. People can do their own collection. Right. They can sit there, do their collection, and find out, they, oh, man, I got a couple fakes in here. Right, didn't even know. Didn't even know. Yep. Wow. Now that's 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 dope. Here, I'll let you do that phone message. Wow. <laughs> no! Like I'm excited. That's <laughs> really that's a trip that they could do with the technology to do that. Hey, definitely shout out to Poison. Link down below. Hey, it is worth the bang for the buck the money. You will not be buying some shoes fake anymore. <laughs> this is crazy. This is this is one of the best products out. Serious business. Serious business. This is going to be one of the best products out. I can't believe this. And you see all the people that do authentication with shoes and they be smelling them, doing all this, and, and, and they still be fake? Yep. This will just cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> this is dope. Like, I could go. I checked it out. They're good. They're good. <laughs> <laughs> they passed with me. <laughs> So as you can see right there, he is definitely a happy camper. He likes how the app works. And again, shout out to Poison. Once I found out that they had this service, I knew we had to present it to the channel. This is a great option when it comes to authenticating your sneakers. And make sure you guys use the link down below in the description if you ever wanna sign up. You can also share a post and get your first authentication for free, just like he did. And if you didn't know, Poison has an authentication service that not only authenticates sneakers, but they can authenticate up to over 350 brands. So we're talking about luxury, goods purses bags jackets you name it they can do a lot when it comes to their authentications now going to the last and final shoe i'm sure all you guys already know what it is by now the nike dunk low panda i know it's crazy the shoe restocks so many times price goes up and down all the different things but for some reason this has been caught as one of the most fake sneakers out right now in the shoe game over the past year two years now it has been crazy so even when it comes to panda dunks like i said you think about these grills and all these expensive shoes or even some slides you gotta watch out. Hopefully this video was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this was educational and that you guys are able to use Poison if you haven't done it for the first time. And if you have, let us know how your experience with them is down below in the comment section as well. And let's show the top five most fake sneakers in the shoe game right now. You got the reverse Mocha Travis Lows, the Mocha Travis Highs, you got the Pure Slides, you got the Mocha Air Jordan Ones, and then you got the Panda Dunks. 
Watch out for these shoes. Stay dangerous. All right, y'all. I'm out. I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. Listen, my DNA, hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware of. I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA